Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here bringing you some really awesome text effect trends to bring into 2023. I know that a lot of you guys struggle with typography or text effects or basically how to fill some space with your text. So hopefully this video here today can help you guys out. And uh, we have some really cool tutorials on how to do it as well. Also, if you guys have no idea about my everything pack, which is my path, that's on my selfie.com, so that's SSOHQ store, where you get everything on the actual store that you see on the front page on Selfie for $30. And then anything that comes out afterwards, no matter the price, no matter the date, if, as long as it was out on Selfie, you guys get it for free email to you on the sign up that you guys use. So with that being said, if you guys have no idea about it, check the description down below and enjoy because over 5,000 something people have it. So if you guys don't have it, maybe you're missing out. Oh, who knows, right? I'll see you guys. Enjoy. Let's start off with a dope organic way to place text around a person. In Photoshop, make a path around an object or a person that stops halfway around right on that path but do not finish the sentence that you were actually on then at the end of the path use the pen tool to roughly follow on the rest of the object and be sure to close the path then all you guys have to do is finish the sentence or phrase by selecting inside the pen tool box with the type tool it's a really fun way to add movement type to your project while making it interactive also with the right organic font it just looks really dope Next is something a lot of artists have been doing, but will come in handy this year with the world of anti-design for sure. Head over to a Google or an Unsplash.com and download any awesome texture that you see with a lot of movement or distortion. Place your image inside Photoshop and scale it to fit the canvas. Afterwards, save the photo as a PSD. Then on a smart object text layer, head over to Filter, Distort, Displace. You can either keep those settings or play around with them, but then I want you guys to locate your PSD. And just like that, you apply the save texture and make for a quick and easy way to apply a custom text effect to your project. Another dope text effect going into 2023 is how to start your own gradient melt journey. Take any word of choice with a very dark gray and make a duplicate. With the duplicated text, head over to Filter, Liquify, and with the Forward Wrap tool, click near the middle of the text and pull down, leaving enough distortion to either push or pull your ghostly effect towards a direction. For me, I chose left. Afterwards, apply a motion blur under Filter, Blur, Motion Blur at an angle around negative 70 and at 200 pixels. Be sure that your motion blur text is below your original text, and also be sure to erase the excess on the top as well. Afterwards, make a duplicate of the motion blurred layer and apply another motion blur, however, in the opposite direction. Now, invert the colors from your darker color by pressing Ctrl I on the layer. That way, it changes from being the darker tone color to a white lighter tone. Then, drag it below the darker tone layer. Here is you want to actually group your layers all together so far, excluding your background layer, and apply a clip mask gradient on top of all of it. Choose any color of your choice, but be sure to choose your darker tone color on the left, and then a two-tone color scheme afterwards from middle to right. Now, control click on both motion blurred layers and duplicate Control J, and merge them together with Control E. Then, control I on the layer to invert the colors once again to activate some of the effect. However, apply a layer mask to erase a bit from the bottom to get a more faded effect. And at this point, you're pretty much starting off where a lot of people make some really awesome gradient melt effects. To further adjust your version, you can use more blur combinations and liquify to fill the gaps. But for me personally, I love using Fuel Blur to get a really awesome look. However, this is where you want to customize it yourself and make something really cool. Also, do not forget to add some blur to the bottom of the original text as well to complete the effect. Now, the last effect is a pixelated typography. Have your black text ready to go, then apply two strokes. One of the strokes being set to white at 15 and the additional stroke being set to black at 25. Afterwards, go to filter, pixelate mosaic and choose just enough from 5 to 15 to add some mosaic blur. Then to finalize, apply a threshold and you're good. A really fun way to add to more of that pixelated effect that you see online. However, we're just a little stroke this time. So with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned some really cool text effects to use in your future projects. If you guys didn't, then you guys are basically geniuses. And if you guys did, well, then that was the purpose of the video. So hope you guys enjoy it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys later. So with HQ out. Now we got to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud of guys that are much love. Peace. Enjoy your day.